entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and business owners from around the world. You are tuned into the most trended business talk show globally, the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show with host, rock star entrepreneur, and international business consultant, Erica A. Murray. International business news, ways to improve your business, the international stiletto movement, and action items tips to implement into your business from successful entrepreneurs. All here to help your business go global. You have not experienced business talk until you've tuned into the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show. International news, informative talk, every Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. Listen on AMFM Terrestrial Radio, online, Spreaker, and expanding this month to iHeartRadio. Now it's time for this week's Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show with your host, Erica A. Murray. It's time to be informed. UIBE Radio and iHeart Radio Station through the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. Today is July the 30th, 2015. This is a triumphant Thursday as we are entrepreneurs and we are triumphing over every obstacle that stands in our way. I mean, we have to declare this. We have to believe it so that we can keep moving in our business, entrepreneurs. Let me start off the show by asking you, hey, do you still have drive for your business? Are you driving it like a race car in the Indianapolis 500? Well, I don't know about you, but I am. Are you feeling like uh, that, are you feeling like you're one with your business? Because you know you have to be one to move in harmony. Have you taken some time to check under the hood of your business? How many of your employees are in the pit when you pull over? Is your relationship good with your mechanic? Come on now, business owners. You know what I'm talking about. We are in a race to the finish line. Unfortunately, the finish line is pushed back. <laughs> further each and every day that we go to work. It's time that we inspire and motivate our teammates. That's everyone in your organization from the bottom to the top. Our vehicles must be performance vehicles, not jalopies, all right? So your business has to be a performance vehicle, has to be something that you can race in the Indianapolis 500. When you got up this morning, did you get up this morning on the run or did you complete that entrepreneur self-check? Did you ask yourself the one question that will motivate you to be active in your establishment? That question is, why do I do what it is that I do every day? Is the passion still there, entrepreneurs? Uh, The only way that you're going to stay dedicated to the success of your business is to keep the passion strong. Well, for all of our loyal listeners, you know that we're airing live in 10 major cities in North America and, of course, by the way, for our listeners outside of those markets, and we definitely cannot forget our international audience. That's right. I encourage you all to send me a text while I'm on the air, a Facebook or a Twitter message. Talk to me. What can we help you with? What would you like to learn about business? We are definitely here to help you. Hey, this is definitely one free hour of consulting, so you might want to take advantage of it. This is the third business quarter, and I don't know about you, but I'm relentless with my goals. How are your goals going? Are you meeting them? Do you see any growth, just a snippet, or do you see massive growth? You must be focused, entrepreneurs. Forget about the challenges. Accept it. They will appear. The question is, what are you prepared to do when they arrive? Take a moment to find your zen, maintain ultimate focus and peace. Be mindful of all things entrepreneurs, but focus on what really, really matters. We need your enterprises fluent in the game of business. You do know that SMEs rule the world, right? Of course you do, because I share that with you every time we get together. The world cannot survive without small and medium-sized enterprises, so get it together. If you're just tuning in, this is the right time, this is the right place, this is the right host, and I'm the right voice to listen to. Small business is big business. I don't care where they are located. I just want to remind you all that small businesses are the foundation of the global economy, so I need you to be motivated to do great things. Make certain that you're striving for excellence so that you may reach new plateaus in your business. I know that you're happy that we're on the air one more time because I'm happy to be here to provide you guys with some awesome content to improve your business. Well, the best part of it all is we do it at no monetary cost to you. All you have to do is be willing to be coachable, teachable, and trainable. Most of all, keep tuning your ear to the words that are being spoken over the airwaves. (laughs) By the way, are you encouraging someone to listen to this show? Well, if you're not, take a quick moment and text someone right now. Tell them to tune in to UIBE Radio and let them know that we will surely grow their business. Come on, business owners. You must build an army to move through the wild with you. (laughs) Remember, when you build people with you, you have someone to discuss ideas with that share a a common platform. 
If you are an avid listener of this show, you know that I always take time out to thank our amazing sponsors and advertisers for investing in the business owners and entrepreneurs who take time to tune into this show. Without their sponsorship, we would not be here. That would not be good for any of us. Wouldn't you agree? (laughs) Where else can you obtain free international business consulting? I know, right? Nowhere. That's another reason why we are the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show. You guys know who I am, right? This is your guardian business angel. As I say it every time we meet, I'm the good angel, the one on the right shoulder. Uh Uh-huh. I'm just here to serve as a reminder of what to do in business and what not to do. I just want you to maximize your your risk and be aware of your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and all those various threats out there. Even when you think that I've abandoned you, guess what? I'm still there in the midst. Whatever happens, don't you dare give up. I hate to be harsh, but stop complaining and keep moving. Whatever you do, don't stop the progression. Stay the course. Hang in there. Success is on the other side of all of that drama you may experience in your business. Just stay focused on your business and goals that you've set for it. If you find that your business is draining you well now, I would suggest that you reinvent, reorganize, and reengineer. But don't quit. I can't say this enough. Make certain that you have good people working within the walls of your organization. And if they're not good for the organization, well, um, it's simple. Replace them. Whatever you do, don't overexert yourself and don't embrace a stress that you have control over eliminating. And everything today, just remember that you were born to do this, right? You are an entrepreneur, and it's time that you surround yourself with other entrepreneurs. You have to change your thought process. When there, whenever there are entrepreneurs gathered, there is a room full of fruitful thoughts. That's right. Not everyone can survive in that environment, so make sure you're in the right environment because one or two things can happen, entrepreneurs. One, you can overtake the environment, or two, the environment can overtake you. So if you're always in the right environment, hey, either way it go, you're good. As always, I thank you for tuning in to UIBE Radio. We are the show that provides you with international news and informative talk at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time on iHeartRadio and the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. I am your host, rock star entrepreneur and international business consultant, Erica A. Murray. Well, if you're guessing what that A stands for in my name, today that's simple. It means assured. You got it, assured. That's right. Today I got up assured that everything was going to work out in my favor. My labor was about to manifest itself. That I'm assured of on today. If anything else, I'm assured of that. I'm even more assured that partnerships that I've been nurturing are about to be established. It's time that you become assured about some things in your business, too. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. What about you? What are you going to be assured about today? Think about it. Once again, the A in my name today means to be assured. If you are a loyal listener to this show, you know that that A in my name means something every time we get together. Tune in next time to hear what that A stands for. UIB is always pleased to encourage and support economic development through entrepreneurship. If we don't believe in anything else on this dial, we do believe in entrepreneurship. In addition, we love tracking down some of the most amazing preneurs, all of them solo, intra, entre, and moms who are on the move globally. They are definitely impacting their communities through the various partnerships that they establish. The only way to add value to your business is through community partnership entrepreneurs. When the community knows that you care, well, they care about your business. That is what it's all about, listeners. We also pride ourselves on keeping you informed about global collabs that are available as well as opportunities for SMEs, ways to help you to improve your business, and, of course, we shine a light on some of the most amazing stilettopreneurs from country to country in our international stiletto movement. Finally, we believe in giving you a few action item tips to help you move forward immediately in business. We desire for you to know how to apply things to your business personally. It is time for your business to skyrocket to new levels. Well, if you are listening to this show and you want to be more active, you can definitely call in at 646-652-2512. That number again is 646-652-2512. Or you can text me by visiting www.mwhyradio.com. Hey, send me a text live to the show while I'm on air by using hashtag UIBE. Once again, that's hashtag UIBE. Go ahead, send me a message. Don't you forget that we are a top hit iHeartRadio station. We could not do that without you all listening. So a huge thank you, bravo, for continuing to help us speak on iHeartRadio as a top hit show. We have the best global audience ever. I will stand on everything with that. So guess what? 
If you are an Internet listener in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or Long Beach, California, well, you can now hear us live in your local market. We are delighted about these additions to our syndicated cities. By the way, listeners, thank you so much for your connections on social media. I definitely appreciate hearing from you, but most of all, becoming your partner. Just know that I love your feedback, and we promise to continue to bring you business content that you can use. Well, it's time to start this show. So we're going to inform you of some amazing conferences, summits, or sessions that are available for your participation. That's right, your participation. Remember, investing in your intellect is the greatest investment ever. So here's what's happening in international conference news. Um, The International Medical Travel Exhibition and Conference will be hosting a two-day conference October the 7th through October the 8th, 2015, at the Dubai International Convention and Exhibition Center. That's right, Dubai, UAE. The International Medical Travel Exhibition provides a unique platform for the global for the global medical travel market to meet, network, and discuss the latest industry trends and developments. By bringing together the entire healthcare travel market under one roof, MTech challenges the traditional method of traveling from domestic show to domestic show, saving you time, effort, and money. MTech 2015 will play host to more than 100 regional and international exhibitors and attract an estimated 2,200 attendees from across the world. Check out their website at www.medicaltravelexhibition.com for more information. Hey, the first GPCA Responsible Care Conference is hosting its three-day conference October the 11th through the 13th at the Ritz-Carlton DIFC, Dubai, UAE. That's right. We are loving Dubai for all these amazing conferences. Why not take a business trip to an amazing location that you can write off on your taxes? Okay. Responsible Care is the chemical industry's global environmental health, safety, and security initiative. For almost six years, Responsible Care has helped GPCA member companies enhance their performance and reputation also to discover new business opportunities and improve the health and safety of their employees and communities and the environment as a whole. This annual conference enables industry leaders to learn from their peers and other experts about strategies on how to improve their company's environmental, health, safety, and security performance, as well as expand some business opportunities. Check out their website at www.gpcares.com responsiblecare.com, G-P-C-A, responsiblecare.com for more information. Now, here's what's happening in domestic conference news. Well, now, we all know it's time for professionals to live healthy, wealthy, and wise, right? Mm-hmm. Well, the Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise Richmond, Virginia Expo is going to the Chesterfield Town Center Mall on September 12, 2015. This is going to be a total mall takeover. The expo is free to the public. A Walgreens is the title sponsor of this event, and they are joined by some amazing uh, additions, Chick-fil-A, Relay Foods, Metro PCS, Trail University, and a host of others. Check out their website at www.healthywealthynwiserva.com for more information. Uh huh. Well, SBDC is hosting its 35th annual conference September the 8th through the 11th at the Marriott Marquis, San Francisco. This conference is the gateway to small business success. This event will showcase over 100 workshops, training sessions, and meetings for both seasoned SBDC participants and those who are new to the SBDC network. The conference hosts multiple uh, sessions, celebrity and industry expert speakers, the America's SBDC State Star Reception, a robust exhibit hall, and many additional networking opportunities. Early bird registration is in effect for this conference until August the 21st. Listen, check out their website at www.americas, with an S, sbdc.org for more information. Well, here are few free sessions for those of you who don't have the capital at this particular moment to invest in paid training, but you need the knowledge. Well, today, from 12 noon Pacific Standard Time to 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, there is a session entitled Navigating the October 1st Liability Shift for Credit Card Processing. So listen to me, entrepreneurs. If you use credit cards in your business outside of maybe a PayPal or um, a Square or something of that magnitude, you want to listen to this session. And even if you're considering leaving those platforms, you still want to listen to this session. This sec- this session. So navigating the October 1st liability ship for credit card processing, many businesses depend on customers who pay for their goods and services with credit cards. Well, with increased credit card fraud in the U.S., all major credit card brands are reacting by shifting significant responsibility to the, to the merchants. 
That would be you, listeners. This shift will take effect on October the 1st, 2015. Well, as a vendor, you need to know about the impeding financial implications, standards, and new technologies that will affect your business. Learn how to minimize financial risk, avoid penalties related to customer data, and options and choices for vendors who accept credit cards. Also, today there's a session from 12 p.m. Central Standard Time to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time entitled How to Launch a Content-First Business. Well, to be successful, business in the future will need to adapt to content-first strategy. So developing brands and building audiences and then creating the products to sell. We want you to learn how this new business model inverts the traditional approach of product development and sales. Find out how your business can grow from just simple content. I think that will be fantastic because we have a more intellectual uh, buyer today. So people are researching things on the Internet. You need to know how to keep them connected to you by providing some relevant content to them. Also, SVA has some really great videos on their site that you may access anytime during the day or night, so no excuses. Check them out. All right, most of the sessions, most of the sessions from SVA are free. However, you must register online at sva.gov to attend. Listen, you can register up to five minutes before the session. So get on sva.gov to learn more about the sessions and register yourself. This information will be found on their home page. Remember, these are your tax dollars at work if you are in North America. And, hey, it's your tax dollars at work if you're outside of the USA and you have a business here because you're paying taxes as well, or you should be anyway. <laughs> so you are definitely qualified to attend free. So, hey, go ahead and capitalize on that. Well, today I was informed by our pilot that our plane has been grounded. So there is no travel today. Can you believe it? Every week we travel somewhere internationally on UIBE Radio. Listen, I'm doing everything I can to get that Learjet jet up in the air again next time we meet. So I want you guys to tune in to that. What we're going to do right now is, you know what we have to do. We're going to have to pay some bills for this amazing show. But before we do that, I want to thank the Dubai Calendar, SVA.gov, and 500.co for contributing to this segment of our show where we mine the world for informative news that we can use to strengthen our businesses. Thanks for being our global news partners. Well, it's time for a break. we got to pay some of the bills for this totally amazing business talk show. I want to thank you guys for continuing to listen to the Ultimate International Business Experience with me, rock star entrepreneur Erica A. Murray on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network, where you can listen live on Terrestrial Radio, AM or FM in Tampa, Las Vegas, Macon, Lancaster, Boulder, Richmond, Kansas City, Seattle, and now Pittsburgh and Long Beach, California. You may also find us on over 20 different podcast stations on the web iTunes, and iHeartRadio. If we are not your favorite station on iHeartRadio, why don't you make us your favorite station? I mean, right now, that's how we continue to peak on iHeartRadio as a top hit show. Remember, when it comes to helping you, we have you covered on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. Just download this show and a host of others and improve your business skills today. Mm -hmm. By the way, let someone in on this wonderful little secret. I'm sorry, this wonderfully Big secret, huge, enormous. <laughs> Don't be selfish with the information you learn here at UIBE Radio. Come on, import your knowledge into someone else. Start creating your legacy. By the way, don't you forget that the network does have an app that you can download in the App Store. Just search for MWHY Radio and take a trip around the world with me for free. Listen, I'm paying for everything. I love to treat my guests like royalty, so get on board with UIBE Radio. Don't forget that you can ask me questions while I'm live on the air by going to www.mwhyradio.com. Send me a text to the show using hashtag UIBE. You may also dial into the show at 646-652-2512 and via Skype. Don't be afraid. All questions are good questions. Yes, this is the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network, and we are helping you to listen by all means necessary. Shout on down to 3w.uiberadio.com to check out our advertisers, entrepreneurs' reading list, and all the free stuff that we have for you. Hey, don't go anywhere. After the break, we'll dive into seven mindsets that will radically improve your life I mean, right now. Well, entrepreneurs, we all know that we need to be radical about something. So why not be radical about changing our mindset and, of course, our lives? So why don't you stay plugged into UIBE Radio? Grab some paper and pen, and we'll be back right after this break to help you to discover a radical change. Hi, this is Benita with Off the Vine. Join us on Fridays at 3 o'clock for Fun Talk About Wine. This season, I'm going to put this little sommelier certification to work as we expand the conversation to talk about beer and spirits, too. Meet more exciting special guests 
and you never know just who may show up at the studio. Off the Vine with Benita on the May We Help You Radio Network, giving you something to whine about. In a fast-paced world, getting your message heard everywhere can still be a challenge if you're not connecting to your target audience. Allow MWHY Radio to assist you in getting your message heard on social media, video, digital magazines, on apps, and on our broadcast network. MWHY Radio's broadcast listeners tune in online through 10 terrestrial stations on iHeartRadio and during live events. Visit our Fiverr page for special offers throughout the summer to assist you in jumpstarting your advertising needs. That's www.fiverr.com forward slash M-W-H-Y radio. F-I-V-E-R-R dot com forward slash M-W-H-Y radio. Are you looking for a unique and handcrafted gift for that special someone? Visit our site, thestockingstuffershop.com. We have amazing Scrabble pendants, handmade baby baskets, and blankets. So remember, visit thestockingstuffershop.com. All orders of 35 and over ship free. International shipping options available. Give us a call for custom items. 520-405-6197. Are you frustrated, disappointed, discouraged with your life? Are you angry with God? What's holding you back from fulfilling your purpose? Are you struggling as a leader in ministry? Do you believe you have an end time calling? If you answered yes to any of these questions, tune in to The Waymakers on MWHY Radio Network every other Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are here to support you. Join us to get the answers that will prepare the way of the Lord in your life. You're listening to the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show with host Erica A. Murray. International news, informative talks, every Thursday. Now, back to the show. All right, prior to the break, you know, I shared some amazing sessions with you guys in the marketplace. Yeah, we didn't go anywhere this week, but that's okay. Don't worry, I'll get you guys up in the air again next week. How about that? Well, there are some amazing conferences that we share with you that are taking place in Dubai, uh, San Francisco, and, of course, online through sva.gov. I encourage each business owner and um, to shake those chains that have you your business bound. You have to change some things in your business in a radical manner. This is another page in the book of Business 101. They don't teach you in college. And I can say that because I've been to college not once, not twice, but three times. Nonetheless, let me encourage you guys to just keep believing in yourself and your vision. I want you to know that I believe in you. That is why I'm here on the radio bringing you international news and informative talk from some remarkable entrepreneurs. Also, if you missed the first segment of this show, remember you can also download in or listen to this episode by going to iHeartRadio, search for the Ultimate International Business Experience, and make us your favorite station, or just visit uiberadio.com. Listen, we desire for you to know what's happening around the world. Well, let's get back to the show. It's time for ways to improve your business on UIBE Radio. That's right, the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio. Hopefully you have already gotten your paper and pencil. So get ready to be informed. Hey, if you change your mind, you'll definitely change your business and your life. Let's listen and learn together. Listen closely. It's time to talk about ways that you may improve your business in 2015. Today we are going to discuss seven mindsets that will radically improve your life right now. Your mindset is as important as your best idea. Develop a good one and you make everything in your life better immediately. Possibly more than any other single factor, your mindset determines your success. What you think is actually what you become. Internal dialogue is the ongoing conversation that we all have with our mindset. It is the driving force behind every success story 
and also behind every failure. The difference between who you are and who you want to be stems from your mindset. Once you start to change your mindset, you will immediately start to change your behavior. Here are seven mindsets that will radically improve your business and your life. Mindset number one, a self-trusted mindset. To do anything great, you have to be able to trust yourself and believe in your capabilities. Success is not something that just happens, but something you create. You have to have the confidence to banish any negative voices in your head. Don't give up on the things you believe in. And most important, don't give up on yourself. Mindset number two, a goal-setting mindset. Knowing what you want and willing yourself to reach it are two different things. When you know your goals, they motivate you. Remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Set high goals and don't stop until you reach them. Mindset number three, a patient mindset. There's a fine line between moving forward and standing still. The most successful people do all they can to move forward, but they also have the patience to wait and watch. Those who are impatient tend to lose out on great opportunities. Sometimes you have to wait for the right thing. Mindset number four, a courageous mindset. Doing anything great requires courage, but fear always has a way of showing up. Courage does not mean being unafraid. Having courage and showing courage means facing your fears, saying, I am scared and I am moving forward anyway. Courage is like a muscle you can strengthen with use. Mindset number five, a focused mindset. One of the worst setbacks that can happen is losing focus and allowing procrastination to step in. Important as it is, it's difficult to be focused and disciplined. The best way is to stay in the here and now and to concentrate on everything going on in this particular moment. Distractions waste time, and procrastination keeps you from moving forward. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment, and a mindset of focus builds that bridge. Mindset number six, a positive mindset. Choosing to be positive and having a good attitude will determine a lot about your life. If you set your mind to positivity, it can go a long way. Be positive, not passive. Instead of giving yourself reasons why you can't or shouldn't, give yourself reasons why you can and permission to go for it. Happiness doesn't come from circumstances, but always from within. Mindset number seven, a learning mindset. Just because you're struggling, that doesn't mean you're not learning. Every failure has something to teach you, and everything you learn helps you grow. If you are unwilling to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. Every great success requires some kind of struggle, and good things really do come to those who work hard and struggle to pursue their goals and dreams they believe in. To radically change your life, you have to change yourself. Start by building a new mindset today. Think the thoughts that will help you move forward towards your goals right now. A very warm and special thanks to Lolly Daskal and Inc. for sharing these insightful principles with us at the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show, where we provide you with informative talk on iHeartRadio and the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. We really appreciate our partnership with Inc. and the content they provide to our listening audience. Take a moment to follow both Lolly Daskal and Inc. on all social media platforms. This has been rock star entrepreneur and international business consultant, Erica A. Murray. Until next time, remember to improve your business daily and be informed.
All right, listeners, where is your current mindset? Is it a healthy place? Well, if not, I implore you to implement these seven ways to improve you in your business. I know that this information is relevant to you business owners because when I first received the information for this show, I was like, this is amazing. I like that you tuned into this show to increase your knowledge base. Whether you agree or not, knowledge is what separates the movers and shakers and those who are standing still. Tuning in to UIBE Radio and iHeart in the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network is definitely worth your time. I encourage you to embrace this content and everything we share today and improve your business right now. Each week we make it easy by providing you step-by-step information to help you get the job done. Making your business a better business is crucial. I mean, it's critical. I really hope that you are able to write down the seven mindsets that will radically improve your life right now. But, mm-hmm. If you missed something, we don't want to leave you out, so you can try it on down to my iHeart Radio station to listen to the show again. Or you can check us out on iTunes in over 20 different locations on the web. Listen, just search for UIBE Radio or the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show or MWHY Radio. Hey, just search us out. We are there. We're there for you to obtain the information. Didn't I tell you that? You may also take some time to visit www.uiberadio.com. Come on, I encourage you guys to make harmonious music with us. We'll be the lyrics, and you can be the music, or we'll be the music, and you can write the lyrics. That serenades us. Mm -hmm. Well, as a good friend of mine would often say, sometimes me, sometimes you, but all the time us. So when we get together, you and I, listen, it's music. When at iHeartRadio, type in Ultimate International Business Experience, all one word, and um, you'll see us appear on iTunes. Just search on the podcast for Erica A. Murray or MWHY Radio, and it's like magic. You can hear it again at your own pace. Embracing new content is always good, right? Right, of course. On UIBE Radio, we provide principles that you can use in every aspect of your life. I often tell you guys a principle is a principle is a principle. You just have to work it. If you need some more assistance with that, listen, visit www.uiberadio.com and view our entrepreneur reading list for the month of July. Listen, we're about to change that list, so you might want to get those books. All right, well, it's time to do what we do again and pay the bills for this radio show that has reached top hit status on iHeartRadio. Before we go to break, I want to thank our listeners who are listening in every location in which this show is syndicated, but also to those who are currently listening abroad. Thank you so much for your continued support. We really appreciate you all. Numbers matter. And that is if you want to continue hearing this business show live on air. If you want to listen to any of those clips, you can subscribe to iHeartRadio or iTunes. Hey, it's free. And we put all this information out there everywhere so that you can listen and learn. We don't want you to just have to read it. Just plug us in at the doctor's office, your office, while you're on your daily jog. Or, hey, when you go to bed, all we want you to do is listen. Again, I appreciate the sacrifice many of you make who are listening abroad. I do acknowledge the various yet week after week you tune into this global show that brings you international news, informative talk at twelve noon Eastern Standard Time on the best radio broadcast. The May We Help You Radio Broadcasting Network and iHeartRadio. Well, we can't go to break without acknowledging those of you who are posting to Facebook, Twitter, and the various chat rooms. We see you. We are the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show, and coming up after the break, we will bring you inspiration in our international stiletto movement. It's always inspiring to shed the light on female entrepreneurs. It's all coming up right after this commercial break. The Tanya Friend Friends Talk Show is happy to announce our partnership with the May We Help You Radio Network. You can now catch the rebroadcast of our Wednesday show every Thursday at 6 p.m. That's Tanya Friend Friends, the podcast, every Thursday evening at 6 p.m. We welcome your comments and opinions 24-7 at TanyaFree.com, Facebook and Twitter, or send me a text by texting the word Tanya at 72727. Tanya Free and Friends, and May We Help You Radio, living life with a purpose. Are you depressed? Are you stuck in a rut? Do you need interpretations to your dreams? Do you need a word from God? Do you need help resolving spiritual issues? Prophet Yao Yerboa Safro has helped people from all walks of life and would love to help you too. Visit www.getconsul.net. That's www.getconsul.net. The Redemption Outcry International, where your spiritual needs are a priority. Business owners, entrepreneurs, and professionals, improve your productivity and your life. 
you can accomplish this goal by enhancing your emotional intelligence. That's right. Let international emotional intelligence expert and author of the book EQ Librium, Yvette Beckel, help you to empower yourself, grow your people, build a strong business culture, and create lasting transformation. Buy EQ Librium online today at Amazon.com or visit 3W's.ArgSoul.com. Once again, 3W's.ORGSOUL.com. Brought to you by on the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on May We Help You Radio Network. So on the May We Help You Radio Network. MWHY Radio Network. May We Help You Radio. On the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. The network that helps you. You're listening to the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show with host Erica A. Murray. International news, informative talks, every Thursday. Now, back to the show. Well, welcome back to the show. And once again, if you missed the two first two segments of the show, well, shame on you. But you guys know that I have magical powers, and I can with one wave of my wand. You can hear this again by visiting my iHeartRadio station or acquiring the MWA2I radio app. You may also join me on Google Plus because every week I post segments of the show there for those of you who are connected to me. While moving along in our program, we're so happy about this next segment of our show. Oh, listeners, how we love to highlight what women are doing in business. It's only because those beautiful and expensive stilettos are leaving footprints around the globe. Well, today in our international stiletto segment, we are shedding our studio lights on Miss Cordia Harrington, and the code word that I have given to her is hashtag visionary. You'll understand why in a moment. I'm pleased that we're able to highlight this amazing and talented woman. She is undeniably top shelf. But before we share her inspirational stories, ladies, let us not forget about wed day. Mm-mm, girl, not your wedding day, but Women's Entrepreneurship Day at the United Nations in New York on November the 19th. The cost is $499 to attend. Also, I am pleased and delighted to announce that UIBE Radio will be celebrating WED in Barbados, and we will be airing our show live with a studio audience. That's right. The cost for the WED three-day event is $300, US dollars, ladies. Uh, look, I encourage you guys to meet me in Barbados for this awesome business trip and to network with talented people in Barbados and from around the world, wherever they decide to fly in from. I can't think of no better way for you to celebrate WED Day nor no better place, okay? Women's Entrepreneurship Day is, of course, celebrated everywhere. So to be a part of our live studio audience in Barbados, listen, go to 3w.uiberadio.com and subscribe so that you can take an opportunity to snap your tickets as soon as they are released. Mm-hmm. Where day is celebrated around the world from Saudi Arabia to Australia. Don't you miss it. Will you be in attendance? Will you be in my studio audience? Well, you should be. This is a great way for you guys to network. Listen, if you are celebrating Wed Day in any other place, please let me know so that we may advertise it right here on UIBE, iHeartRadio, and the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. Remember, you are always welcome to call in to give your opinion about anything on our show. Feel free to dial in at 646-652-2512 to provide your insight and input to the show. Or you can text the show by using hashtag UIBE, going to 3w.mwhyradio.com and selecting the text option right there on the home page. Also take some time to visit us at 3w.uiberadio.com for all of the business happenings. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you to everyone who posts to my social media sites their comments and ideas. And if you want to share your voice, listen, just connect with me on social media, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter, at Erica A. Murray. Instagram, I am Erica A. Murray. And LinkedIn, Erica A. Murray Global. Every business owner should have a LinkedIn page. Connect with me. I'll connect right back with you. Thank you for not only listening but being involved in the show. Now, here is our international stiletto boss for this week. Listen to me, guys. You will truly be inspired by this story. Welcome to the International Stiletto Movement. 
The lady we're going to highlight today is none other than Miss Cordia Harrington. Success is often achieved when a person is able to go further than most people, breaking limitations imposed by their own economic, physical, and cultural boundaries. Cordia Harrington is a classic example of success as she overcame poverty to become one of the most powerful women in businesses today. A true rags to riches story, Harrington overcame her difficult childhood, poor economic background to become a multimillionaire. She came from a poor working class family, always wearing hand-me-down clothes as her parents struggled to pay the bills. A big night out for the family was a monthly visit to the local McDonald's restaurant. So it is but fitting that today she is the CEO of the Tennessee Bun Company, a company based in Nashville, Tennessee, supplying buns and English muffins worldwide to McDonald's, Pepperidge Farms, and other popular food distributors. A characteristic that has set Harrington apart is her strong will to achieve in a resourceful spirit. Her first taste of success was in the real estate business. She poured her entire life savings of $587 to rent an office and become a real estate agent. Given her fierce determination to succeed, she was soon selling homes faster than contractors could build them. Tired of waiting for contractors to complete the homes, she decided to build homes herself by becoming the contractor. As she explains, instead of moaning and complaining, you have to take that energy when problems happen and put it towards taking you to the next level. Then a divorced mother of three boys, Harrington moved to Illinois and opened one of the first women-owned McDonald franchises to spend more time with her children. She was, however, faced with the challenge of driving traffic to her McDonald's franchise due to its sleepy rural location in Effingham. Her solution? Get a loan to buy the Greyhound bus franchise and have the buses stop near the McDonald's. The shrewd strategy paid off. She was proud to say that 88 buses a day would stop there. That helped grow sales. That helped grow the sales a lot. In the summertime, they had over 120 buses per day. Their sales skyrocketed to one of the top 40 in the U.S. They were so excited. She opened two more McDonald franchises in the Midwest. Then, in 1992, Tunity to be on the McDonald's Bun Committee that allowed her to tour bakeries around the world. Those trips opened her eyes to the huge business possibility for baking buns. When McDonald's announced that they needed a new bun contractor, Harrington was determined to win the contract, even though she had no baking experience. She spent the next four years learning about the bakery business, visiting meals, and sending photos of herself in a baker's cap to McDonald's executives. As she told in an interview with Reader's Digest, If you have a dream, you can't wait for people to call you. So I'd visit a mill and send them photos of myself in a baker's hat and jacket holding the sign that said, I want to be your baker. Her persistence paid off, and she got the McDonald's contract. Harrington sold her franchises, investing everything she owned and borrowed, $13.5 million. Harrington sold her franchises, invested everything she owned, and borrowed $13.5 million. The Tennessee Bun Company was born in 1996. It's the world's fastest high-speed bun company, producing 1,000 buns per minute. To complement her bun baking business, she started a trucking company, Bun Lady Trucking, to make sure that her buns get to market on time. She also branched out to expand the bakery's efficiency with a business called Cold Storage of Nashville. In 2007, she started Cornerstone Baking Company, producing frozen dough pieces for several well-known casual dining restaurants. A true American success story. Cordia Harrington aimed and reached the stars through the virtues of hard work, imagination, and perseverance. I would like to leave you with a quote from Cordia Harrington. It's quite simple, might I add. No is not an option. Now, aren't those inspiring words for all entrepreneurs?
Today, ladies, when you tweet, use the hashtag visionary in honor of our international stiletto boss, Miss Cardia Harrington. Remember, in a conventional world, you must do something unconventional to stand out. Great job, Cardia. Your story is truly an inspiration. Thank you to Making It TV for your contribution to our international stiletto movement on the Ultimate International Business Experience radio show. Miss Cardia Harrington, truly globetrotting and leaving her stilettos in the sand around the world. If you're doing something extraordinary in business, female entrepreneurs, and you want to be highlighted on our international stiletto movement, send me a message at info at uiberadio.com or email me from my iHeartRadio station. Share what's happening with you, and I'll be sure to tell the world about it. Right here on UIBE Radio. That's right, the ultimate international business experience. Once again, women are doing it bigger than ever, and they're leaving their stiletto prints in the sand around the world. Well, tell me female entrepreneurs aren't taking things to new heights. Doesn't that make you excited, ladies? Of course, and gentlemen. If there isn't a way, I mean, well, just create one. Miss Cardia Harrington, breaking limitations that were imposed by economic, physical, and cultural boundaries. How you like that, McDonald's? At one point, all I could do on my family outing once a month was go to McDonald's, and I went from going to McDonald's, sitting under the table, eating, to owning a couple of them. That's how you capitalize. That's how you show them who you are. She is definitely worthy of the honor of International Stiletto Boss. I am just going to refer to her with her official UIBE code name, hashtag visionary. Baby, she had to have some vision to make all of that happen. Just know that this can be you, ladies and gents. So be motivated to do something unprecedented. Come on, be the trend that everyone's talking about. So what if people don't agree with it? So what if people don't see the vision? Stand for what you believe in. Let every obstacle be your driving force to reach beyond the stars. Do what it is that you want to do and be committed to it. Well, listen, I love, 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 love this next segment of our show because this is where we encourage you as a business owner to get up and do something really huge for your business. This week's action item segment is entitled Six Smart Tips to improve your business. That's right. You heard me correctly. We're talking about smart tips to improve your business, not just tips, smart tips. That's that. that word is key, okay? So what's deterring your improvement to your business? Think about that. I want to remind you guys that each day provides us with greater insight. The more information we intake, the greater our chances for success. I encourage you guys to stop accepting the mediocrity in your business and in your life. Hey, if there are some mediocre people in your business, get them out. If there are some mediocre people in your life, say bye-bye. Hey, don't feel like it's a loss. Feel like it's a gain because they're making space for someone who's active and on the move that can either encourage you or drag you right along with them. (laughs) All right, for my avid listeners, by now you should have closed your office door. That's right. Put everyone out of the office, and don't forget to lock the door. Answer that one phone call, too, that just had to have your immediate attention. It just kept blowing up your office phone and your mobile device. Listen, you have also answered that email that had the red flag next to it, and I know that you've had that protein bar because we all need protein when we work all of these hours. All because, listen, you're an entrepreneur and you operate in efficiency. After all of that, I know your paper and pen is sitting right next to you, ready to go ahead and jot down this awesome information, right? Listen, if you just joined the show, I encourage you, I implore you to grab some pen and paper quickly and take notes, as we always desire for you to implement the tips from this segment into your business and into your life. Remember, you can never recover the blood, sweat, and tears that you have put into your business to operate. There is not a price tag that can cover it. I know, I know, I know. Continue to get up and do something different. Listen carefully to what's coming next. Today in our action item segment, we will discuss six smart tips to improve your business. As a business owner, you must strive to improve on the quality of your product or service. The reason why most people don't grow is because they do things the old way. They are not willing to learn about the new trends in town. They prefer doing things the old way. Whether you're a Fortune 500 company or an established business owner, don't get comfortable with the present level you are in your business. Strive to make improvements from time to time, and you'll see the way your business will grow. Without wasting much time, here are quick tips to guide you on how to improve your business. Tip number one, be accountable. Keep score. 
It's surprising to know that most businesses don't keep track of their financial records and workflow. As an established business or entrepreneur, learn to keep records of your cash flow and workflow. Make sure you supervise your financial records or hire a certified accountant if you lack the financial or managerial skills. Tip number two, trends. Monitor them. No small business operates in a vacuum. Changes occur from time to time. If you must improve the growth of your business, stay current on trends, issues, and changes happening in the business world. Who knows? Some certain events or changes in the global world may affect your business. Tip number three, be a goal setter. I don't know of any business owner that doesn't set goals. If you don't believe in setting goals, then I advise you to quit. Most business owners are goal setters. You can't achieve much in business if you don't set goals. Setting goals is like keeping a score. It is like constructing a plan for your business. Number four, motivate your employees. How would you feel if your dad presents you a gift for being a good and obedient child? Good, right? Become like your dad in business. Reward talented staff. Motivate your staff members by giving cash prizes. Tip number five, don't sell the old way. Sharpen your selling skills. Have you ever wondered why Fortune 500 companies spend several thousands to hire selling experts? If there's anything you need to make improvement on to grow in your business, it's your selling skills. Invest by hiring sales professionals to train your employees. Whether you're running your business alone or managing your sales team, focus on sales improvement. Tip number six, leverage the power of the Internet. Do you have a business blog? Well, if you don't, then start one. Develop a close relationship with your prospects and attract new customers by joining and staying active on top social media networks like Facebook and Twitter. Start up a blog post quality content, start a Facebook fan page, and hook up with your readers on Twitter. Do all you can to get your business active on the Internet, and you will have yourself to think in the nearest future. I want to thank Daniel Adatunji and the Business to Community Organization for contributing to the action item segment of this week's show. Take these tips and improve your business and your life. If you believe that you have tips that our audience can use to improve them or their businesses, find out how you can be a part of this segment by sending me a message on my iHeartRadio or info at uiberadio.com. And you can also take some time to visit our website at www.uiberadio.com. Let's talk about how to make things happen. You've been listening to Rockstar Entrepreneur and International Business Consultant Erica A. Murray on iHot Radio. Until next time, listeners, active with the action item tips from today. There you have it, entrepreneurs and business owners from around the world. Hey, you heard it right here on UIBE Radio. That's right, the ultimate international business experience radio show. Action item tips for obtaining success. So um, what's been holding you back from being successful in business? Do you know? Hey, try those tips and see what happens to your level of success, you know. If you miss any part of the six smart tips to improve your business, let me restate the six tips again because they are so very important. Tip number one, be accountable. Some people don't like being accountable and their lives are reflective of that waywardness. Don't let that be you entrepreneurs. Too much is at stake. So be accountable, not to anybody else, but to yourself first and foremost. Tip number two, it's all about trends. If you're a business owner, you know you got to be the trend. Don't follow them. Be the trend. Let everybody follow you. You have to monitor what's happening in your environment and the environments around the world. That's why we're the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show, because we know trends that are happening in Asia are going to eventually get over here to the U.S. if you're there, and that's going to impact you. So you want to be on top of all of that. Tip number three, be a goal setter. You guys know we speak about goals on this radio show every time we get together because they're so important. 
So setting goals are vital to the very existence of your business. So please do that. Set goals and be committed to those goals. Be accountable to them. Tip number four, motivate your employees. I want you to treat them like partners. That's right. Tell them you appreciate them, especially when they're making sacrifices on behalf of the organization. Tip number five, don't sell the old way. You cannot sell the old way because we're in a new way. Yeah, I know that doesn't sound grammatically correct, but we're in a different time. We're in a different era. We're dealing with a different thought process, and technology is changing moment by moment, second by second, nanosecond by nanosecond. That's just how quick it's happening. So you can't do things the old way. Be open and willing to adapt to a new way of doing something. And most times you can get that information from those who work for you. That's why you should think of them as partners so that you can be open to hear what it is that they may offer you that's going to help the business. Tip number six, leverage the power of the Internet. Hmm. Don't be on the Internet not getting anything done. If you're going to be surfing, it should be for a good reason. So, listen, I implore you guys to implement these strategies into your life and your business because, again, you have to be accountable to yourself in your personal life. You know, you want to motivate yourself. You know, you want to change. So, you know, you're not doing things all way. And you want to leverage those things that are relevant to your growth. So listen, these trends are constantly changing, and we are really forced to keep up or, hey, what are we going to do? We're going to look in our rearview mirrors, and we're going to look at those people who are trying to survive. I know that's not going to be you who are listening to UIBE Radio because we're giving you the information so it won't be you. So don't get caught up with the nuances of daily business. Do something different. Now, I challenge you to be active with the action item tips from today. Listen, it's not that many. It's only six tips. So listen, be willing to try something new. It will definitely change your business. The information you hear every week on this segment is free to you, business owners. So listen, you talk about a lack of capital. Well, here's your opportunity to channel knowledge into money. Hey, just use the tip. Join us next time to hear more action item tips for your business or your life. Hey, it's about time for us to separate until next week. I know, I see the tears. But before we part, I want to give you a thought from today from Mr. Langston Hughes himself. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Wow, are your wings broken? Is that what's keeping you from flying? If so, if a, if a half a wing is broken, you can't fly. So you need to be in recovery and rehabilitation with that. That wing must be fixed. So fix your dreams. Hey, if you feel like you're losing focus, dream a little bit bigger. Come on, you have to be around people who are going to help your dreams come true. Listen, you've got to love that quote, entrepreneurs. Education is truly the key. So why don't you go and sign up for some of those conferences that I mentioned earlier in the show. I want you to educate yourself. Hey, that's just a little something to think about as you peruse through your day, entrepreneurs. You heard it here on UIBE Radio. That's right, the ultimate international business experience radio show where we keep you informed and up on your business game. Uh huh. Once again, don't forget to download the apps that keep you informed. iHeartRadio and the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network app. You can listen to me whenever you like. Okay, I'll share my listening audience. You can listen to some others too. <laughs> Go to your Play Store and get them both for free. We definitely believe in free on this network. Now, what I would like for you to do also is to join both myself in the network on Facebook and Twitter to win prizes and services. Connect with me on social media to hear first-to-market items. Come on now. Join me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, and Pinterest at Erica A. Murray. And Instagram, I am Erica A. Murray. Some interesting things happen on my social media platform. You could win something amazing, but how would you know if you're not connected? Remember, connecting with me is free. And as I've said before, you are qualified to participate in free. Something dynamic is coming up on my social media platform called Hashtag the Social Media Secret. This will be a worldwide event. It will be epic. Believe me, entrepreneurs and business owners, you don't want to miss it. But you will if you are not connected to me on social media, okay? The details for this will only be found on my social media platforms. If you want to get connected to the secret, you got to get connected to me on social media. It's free. What are you waiting for? Before I sign off, you guys know that my mantra is always forward progression and upward mobility. If what you're doing in business isn't moving you forward and up, well, perhaps you should reevaluate what it is that you're doing. 
entrepreneurs, let's implement what we've heard today and tell everybody else about it. Please make sure certain that you're moving towards your third quarter goals Flex your business muscle and get your profits up in the black. Listen, don't forget to go over to three W's dot U I B E radio dot com and get connected for Wear Day Ladies in Barbados. I truly want you guys to be a part of my uh, live audience that we will be live streaming from all to all around the world. We're gonna live stream this. So we want you to be in the audience celebrating on Women's Entrepreneurship Day in Barbados with us. The cost is $300. Listen, you have been listening to UIBE Radio. That's right, the ultimate international business experience radio show, international news, informative talk at 12 noon, <clears throat> at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. See you next time. Goodbye for now. Thanks for listening to this week's Ultimate International Business Experience radio show with Erica A. Murray. Listen back to the show anytime by downloading the May We Help You radio broadcast app, going to iTunes, Spreaker, Blog Talk Radio, and 20 different podcast stations around the world. Don't forget to catch this syndicated show next week and every week on Terrestrial Radio in Tampa, Florida, Macon, Georgia, Las Vegas, Nevada, Boulder, Colorado, Richmond, Virginia, Kansas City, Missouri, Seattle, Washington, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and on iHeartRadio. We are here to help your business go global.